In our previous videos, we learned that every accounting transaction has two sides. These two sides affect part of the accounting equation and make it increase or decrease. These increases and decreases from both sides of the transaction help keep the accounting equation in balance. In our modern world, recording these increases and decreases would be easy using positive and negative numbers. However, double entry accounting is a very old concept. Accounting as we know it today was invented sometime in the 1400s in Europe. At the time, math was still the developing concept and negative numbers were a new idea which was not widely accepted in the business world. So how do you decrease an account if you aren't allowed to use negative numbers? That was the conundrum that the experts at the time had to figure out. Their solution was simply to create two different types of numbers. One number that increased the left side of the accounting equation and one number that increased the right side of the accounting equation. The number that increases the left side, so assets, was called a debit. Debit comes from the Latin word that means to owe. That seems weird since assets are things that we own and not that we owe, but in their minds, assets were things that customers and others owed to the business, so they called them debits. The number that increases the right side, or liabilities and owner's equity, was called a credit. Credit comes from the Latin word that means to entrust. Liabilities are money that vendors and banks entrust to businesses and expect paid back. Owner's equity are money that the owners entrust to the business to grow and expand. These two words, debit and credit, may seem confusing at first, but when we stop to think about it, we actually use them in our modern business and banking worlds all the time. Here's just one example that helps me remember the difference between debits and credits. In my wallet, I have two cards. The first one is a debit card. The debit card is connected to my cash in my bank account. Cash is an asset that I own, so the debit card represents my assets. The other card is my credit card. When I use my credit card, that is borrowed money from the bank that I have to pay back. So the credit card represents my liabilities. So just looking at these two examples, debits are cash and other assets. Credits are liabilities and owner's equity. Hopefully that example helps you remember debits and credits. Some people prefer to memorize that debits are on the left and credits are on the right, and if that works for you, that's okay too. So now we know that debits increase assets and credits increase liabilities and owner's equity. But what happens if we want to decrease an amount? We already decided that we can't use negative numbers, so a negative debit won't work. Instead, when we need to decrease an account, we use the opposite of the increasing side. You may have heard that opposites attract. Well, in accounting, opposites subtract. So if an asset goes up with a debit, then it goes down with a credit. And if a liability or owner's equity account goes up with a credit, then it goes down with a debit. Since most accounts typically have positive balances, the increasing side of a transaction is called its normal balance side. So for example, the normal balance side of an asset account like cash is the debit side since that's the side that makes it go up. And the normal balance side of a liability account like a loan is the credit side since that's the side that makes liabilities go up. One other thing to note about debits and credits is that total debits always equal total credits. This is true for the entire accounting equation and also for each individual transaction. This is just another way we can check to make sure the transactions are recorded correctly. When total debits and total credits are compared and they do balance, we say that they tie. Tying debits and credits is a common accounting practice that ensures the accuracy of the accounting records. To learn more about debits and credits and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.